Okay, so the team and their fans may not love him back, but I'm not sure. I got to bring this up. I love this. This was this was hilarious to see. Uh, Mark Messier loves him some Canucks. Aaron, pull up the quotes here from Mark Messier today. Uh, Vancouver has had an incredible year. I've got to take my hat off to Rick Talkin and the job he's done there. He's really centered and focused that team. They do have a lot of talent, but you know, focusing that talent is not always easy. Goes on to say Demko seems to be an excellent goalie, obviously not a playoff, a lot of playoff experience. So that's different. And I think Elias Lindholm, who they acquired by trade with Calgary was a great addition. He's a really solid hockey player who provides a lot of offense and can play a 200 foot game. Messier continues here. Uh, He said, Vancouver has set themselves up. One of the things I like about the Canucks is they have a really big, strong defense. In playoff hockey, playing for two months, your defense is going to be tested, ground and pound, and they've got to be able to absorb that. Other than some inexperience in Vancouver, which is probably the thing that they're lacking the most right now, you've got to look at their team as being really positioned well to play well in the playoffs. He went on to say, another thing I think about is how I could steal more millions and millions from that organized... Oh, sorry, that, that was me uh, ad-libbing a little bit there. But Mark Messier giving his uh, vote of confidence to the Vancouver Canucks. I'd rather not, to be honest. Like, <laughs> if, I think this is going to be some type of curse or something. I'd rather Mark Messier not weigh in on the Canucks at all. Uh, because I don't think anybody in Vancouver really cares that he's, um, he's talking them up right now. Honestly, I yeah, mean... Like- it might, it might, it might even be a jinx. It might even be a jinx. And it, it, look, no matter where they get eliminated in the playoffs, if they get eliminated in the playoffs, they don't win at all. It's Mark Messier's fault now. And honestly, that analysis sounded like it came from Chad GPT. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, Demko seems like an excellent goalie. What do you not stay up to watch the games? Like, that's the only way. Like, why else would you say he seems like an excellent goalie? Like you're just either looking at the stats or other people are telling you he's great because if you're watching the Canucks pretty consistently, you're not going to say, oh, that Quinn Hughes guy seems pretty good, right? Yes. Even the analysis was just so um, generic, right? Like Elias Lindholm is the second thing, second thing he brings up about the Canucks season. Like, yeah, it's a fair point, but it's just... It's just odd. You could have gone in so many different directions. You could have spoken about JT Miller or really drilled down into how they've improved defensively. But uh, I think this is just a case of he got asked about the Canucks and, um, you know, probably didn't watch them a ton. But because he um, he obviously knows where they are in the standings and knows enough was uh, was just winging it with an answer, probably. And, And I'll say this. Uh, I saw some of Messier with ESPN's coverage during last year's playoffs. And man, I I just don't think he's very entertaining as a, as a broadcaster, as a, as an analyst. I think TNT has done a significantly better job with that. And so, yeah, I just, I don't really care about this. It, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't earn him any brownie points. We should mention that those quotes came from an article with NHL.com's Dave Stubbs, and it's not anyone else yet. But as you might have guessed, the YouTube live chat is absolutely bumping after we read these Mark Messier quotes. Jeremy Lee, Messier is a croc trying to get fans to buy his chips. Uh, Nars telling us about his porch squirrel. Uh, And then, yeah, this one from Pimp Strong. I love this. A Mark Messier endorsement is worse for the team's chances than a fan-made rap music video. And yeah... You are absolutely right. I just want to point out, and look, no hate to these people as individuals. I don't want to get on that. But there was one that came out a couple months ago or like right at the start of February. And then the team had their worst month of the season. They finally get back on track. And now I'm hearing there's another one coming out. Another oh, fan made no. music video is coming out. Uh, so look, if it goes on a skid from here on out, you'll know exactly, exactly why. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just. The it. Calgary Flames one is still so embarrassing. It is. It is. And you, yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to start talking about this again. Cause it always, this thing is it always comes across as really like punched down on like, you know, content creators, right. And people just trying to create content. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like them is all I'll say. I don't it's like. Just, it, it's hard to create good, at least specifically for rap. Like, rap, I don't know what it is. Rap doesn't work when you try and fit it into this like hockey theme. All the lines just sound so corny, so corny, so cringe. Rapping about Niels Hoaglander. How are you going to fit that in there? Anyways. Um, okay. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's not my thing. Not my thing. Just not for me. And that's the thing. Like, that's the thing. 
I'm sure there are people out there that like it, right? There's people are that there? like it. There, there has to be harm. There has to be. And like, look, give you an example. When I was a kid, like when I was in high school, I early high school, I used to think parody videos were the best. Like, I think I thought parody videos, like parody of parody songs of like pop songs, were so funny. Like, I went back and watched one. They're not funny at all. They suck. Like, they're not good. So that's just an example. Like, maybe there's some kids out there that really like the songs. So, anyways. I just, it's not for me is all I'm going to say. I don't want to punch down and uh, talk poorly about people. But anyways, this one from Brad, I like this. And again, not anyone else yet, but I had to read it. This one from Brad, quads about what I was saying earlier. Quads, when you get out of high school, you will find that the dark is actually nothing to be afraid of. We'll see. We'll see if I ever agree with you on that one there, Brad. Uh, But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to get that messy thing out of the way.